I think it started in my last year at art school when um, I'd sort of made a pact with myself that I'd, I'd see, you know, what could happen for me if I really, really tried hard, like making a decision to confront your potential. And it was frightening because what you're really worried about is there's not going to be much there, you know. <laughs> One of Australia's most successful exports, known as a groundbreaking female director who is currently the only woman to be nominated twice for the Academy Awards for Best Director, this is Jane Campion. Born and raised in New Zealand, she is a daughter of the theatre. Her mother was a successful actress and her father was a theatre and opera director. Although her parents were deeply involved in the industry, she was initially uninterested in joining the world of film. Instead, Campion moved on to study anthropology at Victoria University of Wellington and graduated with a BA in 1975. Campion then studied in England, travelled Europe and eventually in 1981 pursued filmmaking where she attained a degree in painting and film at the Sydney College of the Arts. Shortly after, Campion had written and directed her debut short film Peel in 1982. Beginner's luck granted Campion the Pompadour and won the Cannes Film Festival. This brought her the attention of the industry which launched her career. Some of her other short films include Passionless Moments, A Girl's Own Story and a Telefeature, Two Friends. It was not until 1989 that Campion released her first feature debut, Sweetie, which won international praise. Further recognition came with An Angel at My Table in 1990, a biopic about the life of New Zealand writer Janet Frame. In 1993, Campion hit the silver screen with what audiences see as the peak of her career when she wrote and directed The Piano. The film premiered at the Cannes Film Festival and won the Cannes highest award, The Pompadour. While already a successful feat, Campion became the first woman and the first New Zealander to win the honour twice. As a result of the film's high praise from critics and audiences alike, Campion was nominated for eight Academy Awards, including Best Director and Best Original Screenplay. At the time, Campion was the only second woman ever to be nominated for Best Director, after Lena Wett Muller for her movie Seven Beauties in 1977. In 2009, after the premiere of her last film Bright Star, Campion took a break from film and spent most of her time in the television industry with her successful show Top of the Lake. Over a decade later in 2021, Campion hit the ground running with her Netflix feature film The Power of the Dog, her biggest film to date. A lonesome place out here, Pete. Unless you get in the swing of things. The film had its world premiere at the 78th Venice International Film Festival on September 2nd, 2021, the Toronto Film Festival and the Terralude Film Festival. The film was streamed by 1.2 million US households, 92,000 UK households, 37,000 German households and 16,000 Australians. By March 20th, 2022, the film had been streamed in 3.4 million households in the United States. The film received universal acclaim from both audiences and critics. Jane Campion is considered one of the most influential female directors and a hallmark for female representation due to her success and dedication to creating complex female characters. Films such as Smoke, both in The Cut and Bright Star have received praise and criticism for their portrayals of strong female characters. Campion expressed her feelings about the film industry and her hopes for the younger generation of women. Campion stated, I would love to see more women directors because they represent half of the population and gave birth to the whole world. Without them writing and being directors, the rest of us are not going to know the whole story. <laughs> 